not dead. What the right. fuck? What's up, Jabroni Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into another episode of Doctor Who. This episode is called The Empty Child. I'm not sure what that means. I didn't read the description. I don't even remember what the thumbnail was when I clicked on this. I clicked on it and then started doing other stuff. So hopefully it's a good episode. If, as always, if you like what I do here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon if you want the episode in full reaction form, uncut, unedited, and you get the entire thing for $1. So you get every episode on the day that it drops on YouTube, full reaction style for $1. If you want the episodes early, you can always do that as well. But head over there, check that out if you want to. Um, yeah, I mean, last episode was amazing. Really, really enjoyed it. And hopefully we continue and it's another great episode. So I don't really have anything else to say. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And pretty much here we go. Got a okay, mo alert. That's what he said. Yeah, I, I didn't know they had a skip button. Did I know? Maybe I didn't know. I don't know. Uh, so where are we? We're going. To, we're in London. You know it said. Knock around space without happening to bump into Earth. Give me some spot for once. Would it kill you? You sure about that T-shirt? <laughs> no, no, no. We are not doing. Wait. Come in, you come in. I'll take a minute. Doctor, there's a kid up there. In a fucking gas mask? Do you not find that weird? Are you alright up there? Dude, it's He's wearing a gas mask. What are you doing? No, no, Rose, no. What kind of random kid is on the roof yelling mommy with a gas mask on? The kid just randomly gave you a rope. Rose? Not weird to you? Okay. I'm so confused as to what the hell. The rope, like, it was very awkward, like that scene. We were going after some type of creature or person, yelling mommy, and then all of a sudden a rope randomly falls? One day. That was weird. Just one day, maybe. I'm gonna meet somebody who gets the whole don't wander off thing. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. 900 years of phone box travel, it's the only thing left that surprised me. Who's walking up to you? How can you be ringing? Who's walking up to you? What's that about ringing? What am I supposed to do with a ringing phone? Don't answer it. Who the fuck is you? How may I help you? Mommy? Mommy? Who is this? Who's speaking? Who is this? The fuck Mommy. creepy shit is this? There ghosts. No, you didn't walk through the wall. Are you a thief? This is just weird. I don't even understand this part. At least so far, it feels dumb. Maybe it's not dumb, but it feels dumb. What kind of futuristic binoculars are those? You're going down to the shelter? Apparently, I've got to go for some damn silly guard duty. Ah. I know that actor. Well, you got an excellent bottom Is that dude in the <laughs> in the arrow an arrow or flash or something? He's in one of those shows, right? Okay, well random dude says Rose who should have died because, you know you dumb. It's got to be black market. You can get all your song coupons. Bernie, how many times? Why are we not eating yet? They can show up and take our food and kick us out and... Thanks, miss. Everybody stay where they are. Specific one, I didn't just wake up this morning with a craving. Anybody seen a girl like that? This. Is it you? Mommy? Are you in there, Mommy? What the fuck is that? Who was the last one in? Him. I came around the back. Who came in the front? Me. Did you close the door? Did you close the door? I'm so confused. What the fuck is it? 
The mommy thing is creeping me the fuck out. Uh, can we take the turkey though? Mm. Dude, there is a creepy factor to this episode right now. How long ago? Don't touch it. Don't. No, what the hell, doctor? What is it? Erica. This is psychic paper. It tells me whatever you want it to tell me. How do you know? Mm. Two things. One, I have a friend that uses this all the time. Uh. And two, you just handed me a piece of paper telling me you're single and you work out. Tricky things, psychic paper. Yeah. Bring up the glasses. How is that biz? Holy shit, is that an invisible plan? This dude is like Wonder Woman. Invisible spaceship. Well, that's camouflage on the list. I'm standing on something. It was like two different episodes. One kind of horror episode and then another kind of weird thing with Rose. Rose has special powers. Yeah? That why it's so... What? <laughs> what? It's Nothing. so big. Getting a bit late. I should really be getting back. Wait, what? Is what? This business? Is he... This isn't business. This is champagne. You're another doctor? I try never to discuss business with a clear head. So, when you say your companion... Oh, damn. He's handsy. Finally, a professional... You just said finally a professional. Seriously? Two question. Who did you lose? Mm -hmm. What? The way you look after all those kids. It's because you lost somebody, isn't it? Yeah. You're doing all this to make up for it. Amazing, the lot of you. Don't know what you do That's to Hitler. Uh, you frighten the hell out of me. Something's walking in the background without. Ah, oh, shit. That thing can literally just do whatever he wants it to do. Not a real place, it's just a place from the show. Don't want to click on it. Those bodies? Wait, what the hell? You'll find them everywhere. In every bed, in every ward. None of them were. <laughs> it, it touched these people? You're very sick. And on the back of the hand, and the gas mask seems to be fused to the flesh, but I can't see any burn. Holy shit. Yes. Exactly the same. Yes. Identical, all of them, right down to the scar on the back of the hand. Oh, How shit. Did How did it start? Huh? They're not dead. <laughs> What the fuck? But I'm still a doctor. Man, the mystery behind this episode is freaking the shit out of me. The plan is to blow up the hospital and blame it on a German bomb. Listen to me. Top floor. Room 802. That's where they took the first victim, the one from the crash site. She knows more than she's saying. She won't tell me, but she... Bye. Bye. Me. That is fucking terrifying. But well, he was touched. Hey. Hope we're not interrupting Jack Harkness. I've been hearing all about you on the way over. Don't you ever get tired of Doctor? Doctor Who? Nine centuries in, I'm coping. Where have you been? <laughs> we're in the middle of a London blitz. It's not a good time for a stroll. Uh. You didn't close the door. You didn't close the door. What? He said it was a warship. He stole it. Parked it somewhere out there. Somewhere a bomb's gonna fall on it. Unless we make him an offer. What kind of warship? Threw it at you. Saw your time travel vehicle. Love the retro look, by the way. Nice <laughs> panels. Threw you the bait. Bait? I wanted to sell it to you, then destroy it before you found out it was junk. <laughs> Should've known. Well, you guys are blending in with the local color. I mean, flag girl was bad enough, but you <laughs> boat captain? Anyway. Oh, 
Who's my mommy? I don't understand. Mommy. That's her brother. Oh, she made a run for it. Oh shit, it has powers. That's it, Rose. Getting up. We've got to go. It's me, Nancy. Just creepy. You can't even fight him. I didn't know this was a two-parter. <laughs> okay. Well, damn. Okay. What a freaking episode. Um. I'm going to give that episode a solid eight. Um, just because I thought it was a lot of fun and it was creepy. It was mysterious. Had me asking questions. I mean, the entire thing was just insane. Um, I literally only like, I, I really disliked only, like really disliked only one part. And that was her whole rope thing. It was weird. The going into the rope thing. Like when she grabbed onto the rope, I thought that was just dumb. Everything else was pretty solid. Um, also, who's the mom? Who's the mommy girl? Yeah, that's the child. I wonder who the actress is that plays the mom. As we can see her. Lawrence. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's go through the episode a little bit, see what we can figure out. Um, we land some, some, something called like some, the doctor ran into something which led him here. It turns out that this guy, who is this John Barrowman guy, who I've seen in, one of the superhero shows. Um, he, there was like a mis a thing that I thought, thought was somebody a distress signal. We get here, it's mystery, mystery. Then she says, don't touch it. So you can make things ring weirdly enough. Wasn't sure why. Um, very creepy, very mysterious, very unsettling for me. Like I was very, oof, creeped out by it. Um, we find out that she's been feeding children. She lost her brother. I know later that her brother was the mommy thingy. Um, all creepy. Then we had this weird thing where she's dangling by the thing. I feel like we could have been introduced to this guy a better way. You know what I mean? Not, but whatever. We find out he has like a piece of time traveler, a freelancer as well as the doctor is. So he's also got like power or he's got like a ship. He's from the future. Um, he seems like he's going to be important, at least for this two arc episode. So Curious to know more about him and who he is, actually. Um, then the guy shows up. This this whole moment was creepy, bro. They whoever directed this episode directed this thing creepy. Really, really good. Uh, then she's with the whole flirting angle. It felt like two episodes almost. I mean, I've been like two different separate episodes. One like horror, creepy. One romance. We found a new guy kind of situation. Uh, the flirting he was doing was really. It was really. He was really suave. Really good at doing it. Um, several moments I thought it was going to be very horror-esque, but we didn't go that route. Let's see. Something with that bomb. The hospital. I thought maybe the hospital meant something. I looked at the hospital and it only brought up Doctor Who, so I didn't click on it because I didn't want to be spoiled or anything. Uh, this part, this whole, when he just turned into it, man, that was creepy, bro. Right there, that was creepy. Really well executed. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was really good. I'm going to give it an 8. Um, <clears throat> give it an 8. Give it a 9. Give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. Um, I don't know if it's worthy of a 9 right now. I'm going to give it an 8, though. I thought set up the set up everything. There was a few minor hiccups with with um the Rose situation, how she ended up with this guy and all that stuff. I didn't love that. I also... It did feel like two episodes almost, like we were in two separate episodes. I could have gone full creep factor and not had introduced whoever this guy is, but I guess he's the one that brought the thing here. He thought it was junk, so, but I don't know. I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was really good, so. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode as well. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon if you want the full reaction. If you want the next episode early, you guys know what to do. Uh, for $1, you can get this episode and every episode on the day that they drop on YouTube. Uh, yeah, hopefully everything is dandy and you guys enjoy my reactions. But I don't think I have anything else to say, so I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to talk to you guys later.